So something that takes a huge amount of time out of my schedule during the growing season is watering. I literally spent hours watering because I don't do shallow watering. That's not good for the plants. We do a slow, deep watering when we water. So this simple fix is going to make all of those hours turn into minutes. I think I got it figured out. Okay. How we're gonna do this. So we're using this table as a guideline. The chalk lines are obviously our beds and the hose is. And this is where the heads are gonna be. So these pieces connect the half inch hose. So we'll roll the half inch hose out along the beds as far out of the path as possible. It's going to be a little bit of stuff in the path once we set this all up, but then the quarter inch lines will run off these four way dividers so we can run to four beds with the heads that we have. This is the cap for the end to make sure water doesn't pour out the back of the hose. And then this is where it connects our hose at the beginning. It gets a little bit tricky and complicated because we're going to run some tees off to our other beds besides just the raised beds. But as you can see from my very scientific and complex diagram, I've got it figured out. I think, I hope, but we just have to put it together. This, this looks like all those Legos that you've helped the kids put together. You just kind of reverse engineered a Lego project? I did. I reverse engineered our irrigation. I've done a lot of irrigation maintenance, but I've never installed any. But this is a pretty simple, easy backyard uh, kit. So it's from Amazon. Should be pretty simple and easy to install. Sounds fun. You guys have known that? goes on like a glove. Tighten it up. So this is your hose connector. Yep, this is our main line. To your half inch irrigation line. Correct. So we just connect the hose to that now? Yep, I'm gonna put some thread sealant around the end of it and then we'll just tighten it right on. Alright. This is a different type of Teflon tape. You helping Cleo? That I'm used to. Oh. Yeah, help me get it around, baby. Silly kitty. How many layers of that do you use? I just do two or three. Okay. What's the matter? I do want it. You want the green hose? Yeah. Okay, it's right here. Voila. So once it's connected to the water source, then we run it along the base of the beds, as far away out of the path as possible. And then I have the connectors placed where they're gonna be. We'll just go ahead and cut it, connect it to here, and then our quarter inch hoses will run off of there to the different beds. So it's just a, cop a cut and paste as we go where these connectors are placed. 
and it doesn't quite have enough hose but we got some from a friend that is also a half inch irrigation hose and it fits these connectors perfectly so it's all compatible I want a bigger flaws when i'm done cutting all right oh Let's cut Yay! You did it, Ryan. Yay! Open now, does it connect? <laughs> Those connectors look like they're pretty easy to install. So they are. They make these things so easy these days. That's awesome. I like easy. Yeah. So we will have a sprinkler head in each one of the raised beds, and then we're gonna try to finagle a little tie-in for the cabbage beds on that side and this side as well. I was originally just going to do the raised beds, but it looks like we can do it all. So why not? All right. So we're sliding the quarter inch onto the connector mm -hmm. and we have a cup of hot water in case it does not fit well. Then we use the heat to let it stretch out and expand. So then you just run your hose that you have in your lap there. Mm -hmm as far as you need it to go for each of the beds. Yep. All right, got all of the quarter inch attachments on. We will have these small hoses going across the path, which I was hoping to avoid, but I just don't see any other way to do it. We will pull it as close to the side on one side and just have the smaller hoses. Be something that we have to step over and be careful with. But we gave enough length so that the head that we attach to the end of that is one that we can move. So we're going to start out with them in the center and hope that it gets good enough coverage. But if we have to move it from one spot in the garden to another halfway through the watering, that's still way less time than hours and hours of hand watering. So, so far, what do you think? So far, I'm thinking it's pretty easy installation. Yeah. So we'll just connect connect the heads uh, where we've already decided we're going to connect the heads for those beds. And then uh, to reach those outer beds, we have some longer lines and we might have to implement the T's at a couple points, but I think it'll... Sounds good. Yeah. Pretty simple to install. Pretty easy yeah. so far. So far, so good. Let's hope that it that we have enough water pressure. That's the only thing I've been a little bit worried about. Our water pressure isn't the best. We have a shallow well with a small pump on it. <laughs> so I'm like, please, please be strong enough to get to all of the beds. So if we have to shut off some of the heads, these are heads that we can do that with. We can turn them and close them so that we can water parts of the garden at a time. We'll make do with it. So Ryan's really having to struggle to get the quarter inch onto the heads. So this is where that boiling water or hot, hot water comes in handy. He can dip it into it to loosen up that tightness. Yep. There you go. So while Ryan works on getting those heads, I've been putting this string trellis net. It's really pretty handy. And I'm putting it over the support bars so that our little baby cucumbers, as they grow up, 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 they can just cling to that. And we can still easily, or somewhat easily, harvest broccoli from inside the net. Easy enough. Hopefully we get some broccoli heads. If not, we will be eating a lot of broccoli greens. And they're just as delicious. All right, so I put a landscape fabric staple to hold them in place and also where it crosses the path. So it's not too bad. We only have a couple of lines coming across and I've got them landscape stapled in the center and on each of its fixed corners. So hopefully that'll work and nobody will trip over it too much. And then we have each of the irrigation heads in the beds and 
They are long enough that we can move them around the bed and we have extra ones going over to those beds. So we got everything covered, I think. All right, what do you think? I think we're ready to go live with this one. All right, we're gonna turn on the water and see how we did. We're gonna check all of the fittings for any leaks if they didn't get put on tight enough and just make sure all the heads are spraying in the right direction or not direction because they're the type that do circular, but um, diameter. You can adjust each of them. So we'll both just walk around the garden, checking each of the heads, making sure that they're all covering the beds appropriately without spilling over onto the paths. And they might end up being where we have to, you know, move them throughout the watering process. We'll see, it's a work in progress. Once I do this, there's no going back. Yes, there is. We just turn it off and fix what we have to. I just wanted to say that, all right? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for. And we're on. All right. <gasps> There's water coming out. We did something right. Building that pressure. All right. So the first heads will be the ones that will likely spray. And then as we get further away, they're spraying pretty good. This one's a different, it's more of a fan type head and that's more of a jet. So you see where this one is spraying into the path over there? That is something I wanna adjust for. I don't wanna be watering the path. So I'm gonna take this and I think it's, and it might just be one turn, two turns, just whatever it takes to get it just right. So now, all of the heads, are landing in the bed. So that's good. You can see my cat's been digging. All of my bean seeds are spread out. Bad kitty. So I'm going around and making sure every single junction is dry. Making sure there's nothing leaking underneath. We don't want to waste any water. These all seem to be very secure. So as you can see, ideally this size bed would do better with two or three sprinkler heads in it. And that may be something that we add on as we go. This is our first level of irrigation 101 it's it's the beginning and it can only get better from here all right so we were wondering if we were able to unscrew the blue ones and the red ones and we can you can also tighten it down all the way till it stops flowing water that's good because this bed right here we don't have anything planted in it yet so I don't need to be watering it so we switched out this head to a blue one just to see. I think I like the fanning spray better than the the eight jet spray like was in here, like this one. So I think, I don't know why. I just feel like there's like gaps in between. <laughs> and this one's more a concentric circle. Not, not a big deal, but something to keep an eye on if you're setting up a system like this. And then there's the added bonus of little toddlers discovering the sprinklers. You like that? Mm -hmm. You look like you're enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. You like water. Mm -hmm. You're making a mess. Mm -hmm. Can you bury the little bean seeds so they don't dry out too fast? Yeah. You see them right next to your fingertips? The beans coming out of the oh. ground? No, you didn't see them. So it's as simple as taking it off and replacing it with another one. Now you could do this with the water off, but if you don't mind getting a little spray on you, it's just as easy to do with the water on. And then adjusting it to the size of your bed. 
I like this. I feel fancy, Ryan. Yeah. Do you feel fancy? Yeah. What are you doing, Odin? Uh. <laughs> you drinking the irrigation water? Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. No. Mm. Good thing it's just well water, but still. <laughs> Odin, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me see your shirt. How dirty did you... Oh my goodness. That's your brand new shirt you got for your birthday. <laughs> All right, we are about to turn off the irrigation. I was just resting a little bit here on my bench. And yeah, enjoying my beautiful garden from the shady side of the garden. So we're gonna turn off the irrigation. We had it on for 30 minutes. And we're going to do 30 minute increments until we have a good idea of how well that waters the garden. So we'll just keep an eye on the garden for the first week and see. And then we'll try to figure out a, the best watering schedule for our garden.